American Idol has a very special contestant this year, someone who comes from musical royalty. What's your name? Emmy Russell. I can't hear you. Uh, but why was the granddaughter of country music legend Loretta Lynn also related to another icon, Crystal Gale, called timid and shy by the judges? What is it? <laughs> my name is Emmy. Gosh, my name is Emmy. On the show, uh, she told the judges that the reason for her being timid is that she wants to own her voice and truly be herself. But uh, there's more to her past that was not disclosed on the show. Uh, and the song she sang in the audition is closely connected to the challenges she faced growing up. The song, titled Skinny, was written by Emmy and received well on Instagram and YouTube. It's about her own experience with eating disorder. I have added link to the song in the comments section. Emmy took to stage at a very young age with her grandmother. She did not enjoy the pressure of being on stage in front of a crowd and admits that she still sometimes struggles with it. And so it was almost this, I don't know, this pressure. And I remember when I was 16 and I was old enough and I, I didn't get a standing ovation. I'm not impressing anyone any, anymore and it's almost like they could tell that my music was fake. That may have seeded self-doubt in her mind but didn't directly lead to her eating disorder as she was actually overweight in her school days. After she lost weight, she got asked out by the captain of the football team. Emmy now felt that she had to keep it up, uh, keep losing weight and stay skinny. And at the age of 16, her eating disorder had spiraled out of control. Things became so bad that she had trouble staying awake. She was always tired and even found it difficult to breathe at times. She felt social media added to the pressure of being someone she is not. I think taking like a little, for me, it was a social media break. I think that's like a practical, like, and sit with yourself and just be like, who am I? In an interview, Emmy said it's a world that's not real, where people are trying to be something they are not. Emmy felt alone and ashamed, as if she was always hiding from her true self. Like, who do I, why do I feel like I have to keep up? Because it feels like something's incomplete here. So that's the reason why I'm decorating this thing. I feel like it's really figuring out, like, what do I love? Like, who am I trying to impress? She also confessed that she went into the American Idol audition without any makeup on and attempted to look as real as possible so the judges would see her for her authenticity. What's surprising is that Emmy first refused to work on the song when she was first approached by her co-writer Dennis with the idea because it was too close to her and she felt the topic was taboo. She feared she will be tagged as the eating disorder girl and it will hurt her music career. But Dennis convinced her that this was for other girls going through the same issue, not just about her. After the song came out and the support she got from mothers who have seen their children struggle with eating disorder, Emmy realized that this song was much bigger than just her own story. Emmy credits her belief in God for her recovery, and she is a devoted Christian and has been a very active member of mission programs in her 20s. She spent three months living in Hawaii as part of the Youth with a Mission program. She also visited Brazil as part of the mission and uses her music and her Instagram account to encourage others to find solace in God. I have also added links to the full podcast in the comments. Share your thoughts on Emmy's journey, and if you or someone you know has also faced the same challenges, please do hit the like and subscribe buttons before you go.